first fish folks and it's a red ear already nice not a big one but it's a red ear today i'm trying to get my personal best red ear or regular bluegill i'm just shooting for a 12 incher it's a little guy he's only about four or about five maybe six little red ear known as shell crackers down in the south I'm just fishing with a basic worm and a hook. No split shot, no bobber. Just a worm and a hook, letting it slow fall. I'm using 14 pound line because there's some monster picker on here, and once in a while you get a big carp or a chance of open. So I don't want to ruin the chance of losing, uh, getting one by it snapping my line. All right. This is a, another, uh, looks like a regular bluegill, I guess. Not too bad, it's a little better than the last one. And he is about seven inches, they're getting better. Not a bad guy. I will get a, I will get some 10s and 11s before I leave here today. It may take another hour or two for them to really start biting. It's only quarter to five right now. All right, folks. Nice red ear here, and he swallowed the hook. Boy, he's got some really dark red ear flaps right there. He swallowed it so much that I have to cut the line. No joke. My gosh. Pliers wouldn't even have done any good. He really inhaled that thing. I've never seen one inhale it like that. It's where I can barely even see it down there. He's a he's a pretty nice red ear right here. Look at that red flap. About another seven incher. I'm gonna have to tie another hook on and uh, get one back out there. Not a bad one. All right, what do we got? I think this is a largemouth bass, yep. Dang, what is the deal with them swallowing the hook today? No. Once again, a hook I cannot get. My goodness. Yep, gonna have to cut the line again. A little bitty largemouth bass here. Not a panfish. He ain't even eight inches. And I get to retie. My gosh. Oh yes, a war mouth, a nice one. What is the deal with him swallowing the hook? Boy, that is a pretty very pretty warmouth. It's either a warmouth or a uh, red spotted sunfish. I do believe this is a warmouth. I'm going to have to try to start getting these hooks out with a pliers or something. Boy, what a beautiful fish they are. One of my favorites. It's got to be a red spotted and warmouth. Really hard to tell the difference sometimes. I believe this is a warmouth. Got the red, blood red eyes. Boy, what a beauty. <clears throat> Not a big one by any means, but it's they're beautiful fish. I'm gonna try to get him out with the pliers. This hook's about done for already. Let her go. Let it what a pretty fish them are. Even though they don't get big, I just like their eyes and their nice pattern they have. All right, this is a dollar sunfish. Pretty small guy, but it's a different species. 
All right, stop it, buddy. All right. And that's species number four there, dollar sunfish. Nice bluegill. Boy, I tell you what, for about an hour, all they did was steal my worms. They just slip it right off. It's frustrating. And they were real tiny or something. I don't know. A little better guy here, seven, seven inches or so. And he slipped my worm all up my dang line. Not bad, but that ain't what I'm after. Definitely not what I'm after. At least he gave me my worm back for once. My God, I was getting frustrated. I've never seen nothing like it. I went through a whole container of worms in less than 30 minutes and I was ripping them in half and they just steal them and steal them and steal them. Oh yeah, it feels big. Yeah, we're talking. Oh, it's a channel cat. My God. Well, no wonder he felt bigger. <laughs> All right, well, it's something different. That's species number five, I believe. Yeah, I want to get my pliers for him. This is the, actually the first channel cat I've caught out of here. Caught a lot of yellow bullheads. Or brown bullheads, whatever they are. I think they're yellow, actually. And uh, never got a channel, actually. First time for everything. Alright, a little better. Still not it, but it is a bluegill. And he is about six inches again. And they're six incher. Gosh. And I got something big, folks. Oh, yeah. It's a big bass. Oh, big pickerel. He's in the 20s. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. He may go 21, 22. Wow. I guess it paid to switch from pan fishing to put this crankbait on. The bandit prevails once again. Oh, he's a big one. He's 20. He's, he's 20. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. He's going to have his little hissy fit while I get my pliers. Oh, just talking about pickerel. Maybe I will do good if I just keep going around this bank with this crankbait. Boy, that's a. I want to measure him, I guess. Let's see what he is here. He is. 18, that's it. Almost 19, he's kind of bent too. Uh, smaller than I thought, but it's still pretty good sized. Oh, and he's got them things way down in there. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to get this out. He's really got this thing down in there. I'm almost going to have to pry his mouth open to even come close to getting it. Oh, Lord. Ah, goodness. Come on, buddy. Now you're getting the other hooks in you. I don't 
know what to do here. Man, he is hard to get. I think I'm getting it. If you'll just open up. Oh boy. Not easy. Got it. All right, I'm going to put her back. 18 inch pickerel. What a beauty. All right. Let's see if I can get another one. Boy, she took off real fast. She wanted to get the hell away from me. I see why they call them snot rockets now. My gosh, they are slimy. Nasty things. Had that thing in him pretty good. Oh yeah, I got another one. It's a pickerel too. I can tell by the way he's swimming. He's about to jump. Oh boy. Smaller guy this time. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this guy's only about 14. Oh, 15 maybe. Looks like I'm gonna have to get the dang pliers again. Alright, two pickerel in less than two minutes. <laughs> oh boy. Well, if, that's why you should always, when you go fishing, if you're planning to target a certain species, always have a backup plan because as you can see, the bluegill and red ear were not cooperating. Now I see, I do see fish feeding on the edge. You gotta have a backup plan, folks. Always bring more than one thing to fish with. He's a little guy, about 14, 15. Two chain pickerel, back to back. Remember I caught both of them before these weeds that are sticking out of the water over there. Oh. Now see, if you caught him way out here, see, that's the mistake I was making. I sh huh? Sunfish. I should have... I should have fished with worms way out here in the middle. I don't think it's near as deep as what you think. It's about the same most of the way across, and that's why you gotta figure out where the fish are. I really need a fish finder for this place. You caught All right, I just got pickle number three. The camera was off. He swallowed this thing bad, and I mean bad. It's another little 15, and this crankbait is completely in him. All six hooks, yikes, not good. Oh, uh, and after this, I unhook him. We gotta go. Didn't get any bites there for half hour, and we're starting to say the hell with it. Let's go because it is getting dark anyway. But and I got him right as we're exiting. Oh my gosh! 